topography uh, next task to configure the hub and spoke network topology so in this task we are going to configure the local peering between the virtual networks that we have deployed in the previous task in order to create a hub and spoke network topology so search for virtual networks open the vnet2 and go to the properties under the settings section copy the resource id of the vnet2 so we might require this in the later section okay similarly open vnet3 go to properties and copy the resource id of the vnet3 oops Okay, next go to VNet1. Go to the peering. Okay, click on add. So I'm going to add um, VNet peering to VNet2. So peering link name is one zero four zero six Vnet zero one two zero four zero six Vnet two traffic to remote virtual network allow default and block traffic that originate outside of this virtual network and virtual network gateway none next remote virtual network give the peering link name az10406 we need to Vnet 01 virtual network deployment model resource manager enable this I know my resource ID which we have copied in the previous session Copy it and paste the resource ID. Traffic to remote virtual network allow by default. Traffic forwarded from remote virtual network allow default and uh, leave this none. Click add. So this step establishes two local peering from VNet1 to VNet2 and vice versa like VNet2 to VNet1. Okay, next um, add a peering to VNet3. Easy 104. 
zero six. Not zero one two is the one zero four. Zero six. We need three. Allow default block that originate outside. I'm just going to copy this and put it here. Three to one. I know my resource ID that we have copied. Paste the resource ID. Traffic to remote virtual network. So traffic to remote virtual network. Allow by default. Uh, traffic forwarded from remote virtual network. Allow by default. So we need this to be enabled in order to facilitate routing between spoke virtual networks which we will be doing it in the later lab and click on add. So this will be creating the pairing between VNet1 to VNet3 and vice versa. Okay, so the VNet pairing has been created. So next, we will see task 3 to test the transitivity of virtual network pairing.